everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting Warhound Titans from the Legions Imperialis box set that was sent to me early by Games Workshop to build up and paint for all of you. And, well, we are... I'm pretty excited to do this. Because we've done a Reaver Titan, and we did that live on stream. So I already know what I'm going to be doing. Um, but now we're actually going to make it into an official video and show off the rest of the stuff we haven't done and this is going to form the basis for when I do my own big titan so there you go doubly exciting video so we're just going to grab our paints grab our brushes and get started in just a second they've both been primed in grace here and we're painting them in the colors of legio solaria so off we go so the place we're going to start on our titans is with all of the exoskeleton this is all the underside areas. And the color we're gonna be using for this is some thinned down iron warriors. And we're just gonna be applying this over the top of the entire thing. Nice and simple to kick things off. And like I said, you just wanna get this over the top of all of these mechanical areas. And if you want to, you can also apply this over the top of the weapons, but you don't have to do that right now. Instead, you can just focus on the inner workings of the Collegiate Titanica. This video is sponsored by Serious Readers. I've talked about them in the past, so you guys already know I really believe in their stuff. So when Serious Readers asked me to check out their high definition Gemini table light, you know I absolutely had to. It uses all the same great stuff as their floor light, especially their proprietary daylight wavelength technology to replicate the daylight spectrum as closely as technically possible which makes a big difference on your eyes. The biggest feature here though, is that it's not one, but two light engines on separate flexible arms, giving you optimal coverage of your painting space, a light source to share with someone else, or a perfect setup for taking photos of your miniatures. They're built right here in the UK, as Serious Readers is a British company, pioneering research into improving sight through shedding better light relying on replicating the natural daylight spectrum that our eyes have evolved to use. They offer a five-year warranty and are recommended by over 500 independent opticians. They're also super cool folks with excellent customer service, so much so that when I asked for a colder bulb, they sent me one, or in this case two, along with two diffusers to make my life even better. Check out Serious Readers today, and if you pick one up and use offer code SR488, you can get £100 off high definition lights and free delivery. Find out more in the links below. So with all that Iron Warriors applied, we're now gonna break it up a little bit by using some Castellax bronze. And we're gonna use this to kind of just pick out little bits of mechanicalness, such as these little spars just here, in here, in here, like that, and do the same thing to the ones on the front. Like that, and I've obviously blobbed that a little bit on the silver, so I'm just gonna wash the brush and just use my brush to mop that up. Now we return. Uh, what we're also going to do is we're gonna do this little piston just here. I'm gonna do that one there as well, like that. And what we're now also gonna do is we're gonna paint in the engines, or rather these large vents, Airflow is important. Like that. We'll do the 
the other one. But what we're then also going to do is I've got melters, so I'm going to paint in barrel or heat shroud, sheet shield. Again, airflow is important. Like so. Also going to use this to paint in the coils around the base of the melters. Like that. The thing to not forget is this area down here and I realize I'm saying that more to myself than I am to you <laughs> there we go perfect I'm gonna apply this over top of our little Imperial Eagles here and here like that, and we're going to apply this over the kind of snout. Like that, and finally, we're going to apply this over the sharpest bits of the Ursus claw. That caught in my throat just for a second there. Let's say that again. We're gonna apply this over the top of the sharpest points of the Ursus claw. Right, there we go, much better. Much more dramatic. Okay. We'll also apply this over the cabling. So with that all done, we're now gonna shade all of that metallic stuff with a roughly two parts Lamy and medium to one part black Templar mix, except I've got four brush loads of Lamy medium to two parts of Black Templar. So it's four to two, but it is technically two to one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna now apply this over top of all the silver, all the bronze. It is bronze? Yeah, Castellac's bronze. Oof. So with all of that done, we've now got beautifully shaded exoskeleton and weapons. Now we will come back and do some highlights on those a little bit later, but for now we're gonna move on to all of the armor. Now the color we're gonna be using here is Gut Ripper Flesh. And we're gonna be applying this over nearly all of it, but not quite all of it. So we're gonna go for the legs. Like so. Then we've got the larger panels. And whilst we don't need it to be 100% smooth and perfect, 
it is good practice to try. I say this because Legio Solaria has that lovely sort of mottled green look. So you don't have to worry too much about that. We've got another armor plate up here. Now what we're not gonna do is the this one in the middle that for lack of a better word crotch. <laughs> we're not gonna do the armor on the weapons or the head. I forgot to do the feet, so we'll just quickly do them over here. Because we are gonna do it over the feet. Like this. start down here at the feet so that I don't forget but we will paint this over the top of the canopy and I think I've already said it we won't paint this over the top of the head So with all that gut ripper flesh applied, we're then going to take some box walker and we're going to use this to shade it. And again, you don't have to worry about being too neat and tidy. Because the stippling is coming up next. So with that pox walker all applied, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a ratty old dry brush, or if indeed if you have it, a stippling brush, and we're gonna take some deep kin flesh. And over the top of all of that green armor, we're gonna now stipple the deep kin flesh. this over the top of all these armor plates. And when your brush gets low, you basically take your deepkin flesh on your brush and then you dab it into the tissue paper like that until it gets to the consistency you want, although it is pretty hard to tell on white paper. And then we just go again.
all that deepkin flesh stippling done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some pallid witch flesh and we're going to do this over the top, but just towards the kind of raised areas right in the middle. As you can see, not very much at all. So with that then done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Coelia green shade and we're going to apply this around the kind of edges and then we're going to blend it. So I'm going to load up our brush with the Coelia green shade and we're going to apply this like this, pretty roughly, like that. Then I'm going to wash the brush, and then we're going to smooth out those transitions so you don't have that kind of boxiness around them. And then we're just going to do the same thing again. on the next one. Like that. So with that all done, the green is now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some bar red and we're going to apply this over the top of our remaining armor panels. And with that all done, just whilst we're waiting for it to dry, we're going to take some Retributor armor. And we're going to apply this over the top of the large sculpted Imperial Eagle on the legs. So with that all done, we're now going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Contrast Medium and Blood Angels Red. We're going to use this to shade all of our red.
So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down lead belcher. I'm going to use this to pick out all of the trim around the entire model. So with all of that silver trim applied, we're then gonna take some Agrax Earthshade. I'm gonna use this to shade the gold, the silver trim, and paint in any kind of parchment looking areas. So with that all done, our Titan is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready, and it's looking pretty cool. However, we're not going to leave it there. We are going to highlight it, but we're only going to do one more highlight, and then we've just got some lenses to do. And, well, the highlight we're going to be adding is some Stormhost Silver, and we're going to be dry brushing this over the top of all of the silver and all of the Castellax bronze. including the trim. So that dry brush will apply, but then I'm going to take some Dark Angels Green and we're going to apply this inside the eye lens. And finally, we're going to take tiny amount of moot green. I'm going to use this to add a little highlight. Going around. The underside of the eye lens. And I've gooped it a little bit there, so I'm just going to clean brush and just move that off so with the bases complete both of our warhound titans are now all finished ready to stride across the battlefields of the horus heresy and the legions imperialis um, i really liked doing these they're a lot of fun they go really nicely with the reaver titan i've already done so now i just need to get my hands on a warlord and another reaver and then i've got a mana pull and then I guess I'm a fan. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash war hipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do 
as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks, just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.